Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I am finally reviewing the Too Faced Sweet Peach Collection. Now when I say collection, I only have three of the items here. I've got the primer, the foundation, and the setting powder because these are the items that I've had the most requests to review. And this is actually a collection that's geared towards oilier combo type skin types. So I'm super excited to be trying it out on my oily skin today. Many apologies and thank you so much to all of you for being so patient. I actually had to purchase all three of these items. I got two off eBay and I got one of Amazon. This collection is actually exclusive to Too Faced and Sephora and the Too Faced website doesn't ship to Australia and Sephora in Australia doesn't carry Too Faced. And also for some reason my Sephora um, shipping forwarding orders just keep getting cancelled. So yeah, I've had a hell of a time getting a hold of these but I finally got them and I'm super excited to be reviewing them today. This video is going to be the same format as many of my recent foundation base kind of complexion product review videos. So we're going to do it over three days. Today we're going to be trying all three of the products of the primer, the foundation and the powder all in one. And then tomorrow, you know, I might use the foundation with a primer that I don't like and, you know, just we'll, we'll be testing it um, in different ways on my skin and just seeing how it goes. So we're going to start with the primer today. So this is the Primed and Peachy Cooling Matte Perfecting Primer. Uh, it's infused with sweet peach and sweet fig cream. It says along the side here, um, it's a long lasting cooling matte primer that blurs and smooths your complexion with a brightening peach tint that works on any skin tone. I'll wear alone or underneath foundation for a mattifying soft focus finish and smells as good as it feels. So that looks really cool. 40 mil uh, of product in this one. I I will be listing um, the prices of the products in the description bar down below. Packaging is cute as. So here is what the packaging looks like. It looks like, is it a squeezy tube? Oh no, it's got a gold sort of pump on the end. Um, actually got a very different consistency to what I thought it would have. It's more of like a, the consistency of um, Benefit Professional. Definitely does have a scent too. Oh wow, it feels quite thick on the skin. I don't actually mind the scent of this one. Um, it's not as overpowering as I kind of thought it would be. And we kind of has a bit of a kind of like a smoothing silicone feel to it and it kind of starts off that way it's weird and it dry it, it dries down and it kind of tightens on the skin is that like does that make any sense definitely dries down on the skin and it leaves kind of like a velvety but at the same time like I can feel it on my skin like if I go like this like I can feel it it's tight it feels tight on the skin so yeah they're just some of my first Thought. I don't really think it's made a huge difference to how my pores are looking or anything. And by the way, let's point out the elephant in the room. I've got so much acne at the minute. Like, oh, look, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 12, 13, 14. It's all happening. Yeah. I tried some treatments recently that my skin did not agree with. <laughs> okay, moving on to the foundation now. This is the Peach Perfect Comfort Matte Foundation, again infused with peach and sweet fig cream. Transfer resistant medium coverage at 14 hour wear. Oil free, oil controlling, photo friendly, shine free. Oh my god, this sounds amazing. So on the side it says Peach Perfect is infused with refreshing peach and sweet fig in our exclusive Comfort Matte long wearing 14 hour formula. The modern way to wear matte foundation, photo friendly, smooth, flawless and comfortable with a soft focus velvety finish. Oh my gosh, it sounds so good. Transfer resistant. I feel like I'm going to have to test that out. Oil controlling. Like, whoa, shut the front door. <laughs> so you get 48 mil of product in this one. I've picked up the color sand and I'm not currently wearing any self tanner. I'm not sure how this is going to go. <laughs> so according to the website, this one only comes in 12 shades. And actually there's a bunch of really, really light shades on here and no deeper shades. So that is a real shame. The Too Faced website also says delivers medium coverage that is buildable and it's got specially treated pigments that give a photo friendly finish. Right. So the packaging is very similar to the primer. It's just like a little bit longer. Okay. And this one has got a pump nozzle as well. Let's have a look at what this formula is like. Okay. So it is quite runny actually. And looking at that color, <laughs> I'm not really sure how well this is going to match me. I'm probably going to have to blend this one all the way down my neck so I don't look like a crazy floating head. So I've got a Kabuki brush and a beauty blender here. So we're going to try applying it both ways. I'm going to start with the Kabuki brush. Oh, so it's going to be really dark on my skin, guys. So we're just going to have to deal with it, okay? You see, if I was actually self-tanned right now... Oh, that coverage is really good for a medium coverage. Shivers. Oh, 
Oh, and it actually smells really nice and refreshing. Um, okay, what was I rambling on about? Oh, yes, if I was actually self-tanned now, this would probably match me. Okay, so that there is two pumps of the foundation applied with a Kabuki. This is the Sigma F88. It looks really smooth on the skin. It feels quite smooth, but it doesn't feel like a powdery matte finish. Um, let's say, for example, like the Fenty Pro Filter Foundation does. Um, it looks matte. I feel like my pores look minimized. I do think that the medium coverage claim is quite accurate and I might even have a go at building up the coverage even further, but I would be quite comfortable with this level of coverage. I would feel fine wearing this. It will be interesting to see if this oxidizes down further because it's already a little bit too dark for me. I'm going to go two pumps again on the back of my hand and I'm going to dot that on my skin and then we'll Use a beauty blender and see if it gives a bit of a different finish. I mean, it looks nice how it is. It's actually done a really good job of covering the redness of those acne spots. I'm impressed. So far, I'm impressed. Okay, going in with a beauty blender. I actually think that you get more coverage using a beauty blender. It looks extremely smooth. I look extremely tanned. <laughs> the skin looks matte, but it's still healthy at the same time. Like, I do think that this looks great. All right, I'm going to zoom you guys in so you can see my skin up close. But I do think uh, from back here, it's looking really, really good. All right, now that we're zoomed in a lot closer, I do feel like there's a little bit of patchiness here on my cheek. Like, I feel like it might look a little bit lighter. Um, in some areas than others and that might be because when applying it with a kabuki brush you know it does dry down to more of a matte finish and it's possible that I didn't uh, blend it out quick enough basically but yeah this is the side with the kabuki and then this here is the side with the beauty blender I do think it looks much 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 better with the beauty blender okay I've got some eye makeup on and some eyebrows and some concealer I just used a tiny little bit of the NARS uh, complete matte concealer and I want to stay zoomed in to put this powder on. After sitting on my skin, I feel like, um, you know, the foundation does feel quite matte, like I said it did earlier. But I do feel like it's starting to show um, a bit of texture, just sort of on these areas of my cheeks where I do have a fair bit of, you know, enlarged pores and just like texture on my skin. I also do still feel like it is looking quite patchy here. And I do actually think that, um, you know, I've got sort of rougher patches of drier skin on these areas. And I do think that it's actually clinging to that. So if you're sort of one with, um, you know, quite dry patches and areas, you might hate this foundation. So yes, let's move on and set all of this down. So this is the Peach Perfect Mattifying Loose Setting Powder. It is infused with refreshing peach and sweet fig cream in our exclusive Modern Comfort Matte Formula, the Featherlight Universal Peach Tint Setting Powder, Brightens your skin and smells like a dream. Sets your foundation and creates a silky smooth canvas for bronzers, blushes, and highlighters while helping to absorb oil and reduce shine throughout the day. Amazing. It sounds so cool. 35 grams of product in this one. Very similar packaging um, on the box to the others. <gasps> oh my gosh. This thing is so cute. Oh, I love the packaging of this one. Absolutely love it. Feels very, very heavy. Feels very luxurious. This is gorgeous. This feels like quite rubbery on the top. It's shiny. It's beautiful. Oh, and then when you take this one off, it's got like a little sieve lid. It's got the same scent as the other products, but I feel like the scent of the powder might actually be a little bit stronger. All right, I'm going to pick up some of this on a beauty blender and we're going to set um, the skin down in this way and see how it goes working how I would normally use a loose setting powder. I'm going to do this side first. So just... Pressing it into the skin. Oh my gosh, it makes my skin look so nice too. Okay, so I've just applied it under the... Oh my gosh. Oh, it feels so soft, you guys. Oh, wow. Okay, that feels really, really nice. I don't think that it's changed or altered the color of that foundation. I don't think it's particularly brightened under that eye area. But it has hugely, hugely hidden the texture and enlarged pores. So here it is here with the powder and then here it is without it. I'm hoping, you know what, let's zoom in so you can see a bit better. I'm hoping that you can really, really see it on camera. So without the powder, with the powder. Look how much smoother it looks. It looks gorgeous. Okay, and just as a bit of a comparison, I'm going to set the other side of my face with a brush and see if we still get that beautiful smoothed effect effect and sort of the difference that it you know makes to the skin oh I just inhaled a heat more it's so sweet mm, and if you lick your lips after you powder it tastes sweet like lollies 
<laughs> that is cool. Okay, so that is what my skin is looking like now that all of the three products are on. I honestly think uh, the side with the Beauty Blender looks at least 10 times better than the side where I applied things with a brush. It just looks smoother. It looks more airbrushed. It looks cleaner. looks healthier. Um, it just looks a lot better. <laughs> um, there's definitely still patching here on my cheek. It feels... You know, very, very soft, very silky, very smooth. Um, it looks quite matte. So, yes, what I'm going to do now is go ahead and apply the rest of my makeup and then I'm going to wear it all day long. And then I'll be back tonight with um, a check-in with my final thoughts on how all three of these products worked together. And then tomorrow will be day two of testing. So I'll talk to you all very soon. All right, guys, so it's past 9 o'clock here now and I've actually now been wearing this makeup for officially 12 hours. <laughs> Oh my goodness, my skin looks so good. I nearly can't even believe this. Nearly cannot believe this. I've got a little bit of oiliness through the T-zone. And you might be able to see, um, you know, there's a little bit of oil kind of on the sides of my nose, um, on both sides of my nose. My forehead is hardly oily at all. My chin is hardly oily at all. It's really kind of just like this sort of circle around in the center of my face here. Oh my gosh, so hasn't separated, hasn't transferred, hasn't moved, hasn't got cakey. It looks legitimately amazing, like legitimately amazing. Um, I'll zoom you guys in so you can get a close look. Dang, I just can't stop looking at it in the mirror. <laughs> okay, so here is a close look at my skin. I mean, I just feel like I look fresh and dewy. I don't feel like I'm really that greasy at all. And to tell you the truth, I would not even touch this up. This is 12 hours. Yeah, it looks gorgeous. It looks so smooth. I don't feel like my pores look, you know, enlarged or emphasized. It hasn't settled into any fine lines. But honestly, I am so incredibly, incredibly impressed at this point. Um, So yes, the primer, the foundation and the powder all together as a little unit of three. Definitely huge, huge, huge thumbs up. Um, It's going to be interesting to see how it goes tomorrow. Dang. This looks seriously insane. Hey guys, so welcome back to day two of testing. What we're going to be doing today is applying the Sweet Peach uh, Primer Foundation and Powder on this side of my face. And then on this side of my face, I'm going to mix just the foundation with some of my Holy Grail primers. You guys need to know whether this foundation is actually good all on its own. Like, can it carry its own weight or do you have to buy the full range of products? Hopefully you don't because that will be a pain in the bum and all of them added up together is quite expensive. I am still so impressed with how well this foundation wore yesterday. Like, at the end of the day, I was so mad. I'm going to go ahead and apply uh, my Hourglass Mineral Veil Primer on this side of my face. You all know how much I freaking am obsessed with this. Okay, so that primer is on. And we'll continue putting the foundation over this side now. Like, I've got a fair bit of acne at the minute, and it covers up redness so well. For a medium coverage foundation... That's really, really impressive. Most medium coverage foundations, um, and you will know if you're an acne sufferer, um, you know, you need extra coverage. You need concealers. Sometimes you need a second layer of foundation. Sometimes you need a powder foundation. Um, it completely zaps redness. Like, redness is gone. All right, so we've got the foundation applied to both sides of my face now. I, again cannot see a difference between both sides so I don't particularly think that the uh, Too Faced Peach Primer um, necessarily makes a huge difference for enlarged pores and things like that. I mean they both look really nice and smooth and healthy and the coverage is fantastic on both sides. So what I'm going to do now is go ahead and apply the rest of my makeup off camera so eyeshadows, um, brows and then we're going to come back and set it down so on this side of my face I'm going to use my much loved and trusted Laura Mercier translucent powder and then the Peach Perfect powder on this side. I'm going to do the Peach Perfect powder side first. Gosh that was a tongue twister. Peach Perfect powder side <laughs> okay, picking up the powder on the Beauty Blender, I still maintain that this is the best way to use the products. I feel like the bo well, both the foundation and the powder look a lot smoother when used with a sponge. Okay, we're moving on to the Laura Mercier side now, and I'm going to set this all down. Now, the peach powder's definitely got more of a peach tint, but we did know that than this one. This one's got more of like a yellowy kind of translucent undertone. Okay, so here is both sides of my face set down with powder, Laura Mercier side and peach perfect side. Let's zoom in so we can have a close-up look. So here is my skin again, Laura Mercier side and peach perfect side. Um, I don't really think that there's a huge difference between both sides. They both feel quite soft. The skin feels smooth. 
Um, maybe it's fair to say the Laura Mercier side might look a little bit more powdery than the Peach Perfect side, but it's a fairly powdery um, kind of setting powder when it's first applied. That's why it's so good at keeping me matte. All right, so here is the final makeup look. Um, I didn't have any issues blending, you know, the cheek products on this side in comparison to this side. I feel like very much still they're exactly the same. Um, and my pores are looking the same on both sides. Yeah, can't really see a huge difference between the two. So basically exactly the same as yesterday. I'm going to go off and wear this makeup for the rest of the day. Then I'll be back tonight to show you guys how both sides of my skin are looking, whether or not the Peach Perfect side is better or worse or the same. And yeah, whether or not I look oily. Okay, so I've now been wearing this makeup for over 12 hours. We're actually on the 14 hour mark today. Um, I was just having a little look at my skin just now. Surprisingly... Oh, I don't know. I feel like it looks the same on both sides. I feel like it does look exactly the same on both sides. I was starting to think maybe I was a little bit shinier on this side of my nose, but I just think it's the lighting. It may or may not pick up on camera, but I'm fairly oily through the T's, and I've also had a lot of mascara flaking. I tried a new mascara today. Clearly a fail. <laughs> but on both sides of my face, regardless of the primer and the powder that it was used with, it still looks quite smooth. The actual foundation hasn't separated at all. It also hasn't worn off. And I was leaning on my face a fair bit today. So it definitely stands up in terms of longevity. Maybe a little bit of creasing just on this side of my mouth here. So this is the side with all of the Too Faced uh, Peach Perfect products. So yeah, Too Faced side. And then on this side, we've just got the Too Faced foundation. But um, I honestly think that there's not a huge difference between both sides. So Too Faced side here. And then this is the side where I've used those other products. So the Hourglass Mineral Veil and the Laura Mercier uh, Translucent Powder. I don't know. I feel like they look pretty damn close though. I'm just going to grab the Peach Perfect powder quickly and just have a quick go at touching up with it and we'll see how it sort of shows up. See that oil disappearing? I mean, it's so hard. I should probably um, use blotting paper so I can show you guys how oily I am. Okay, so I've got one of the NYX blotting papers and I'm just going to use that. Like, look how oily that I am. <gasps> I'm not kidding you guys. So many people comment and they're like, oh, you're not even oily, honey. Honey. <laughs> I feel like it touches up really well. It doesn't get cakey. It doesn't separate. Like, look how smooth that looks now where I've touched up. It just looks like fresh foundation. Oh my God, Too Faced. You, you are impressing me. You are. <laughs> All right. So day two of testing has been a success, I think, in my opinion. Um, what we're going to do tomorrow is probably test it out with some products that I hate. So a primer and a powder that I've had no luck with in the past. So yeah. I think that's about all for today. I will talk to you guys tomorrow. All right, guys, back for day three now. I've already applied the um, Sweet Peach Peach Perfect. What is it called? Primed and Perfect Primer on this side of my face. And I'm going to be using um, some products on this side of my face that typically really don't work for oily skin types. So these are basically products that just... They don't last on me. I'm going to see if the foundation will help correct that. Um, I've got the L'Oreal Lumi Magic uh, Pure Light Primer. This is a primer that's got um, like light reflecting particles in it, which is fine. Um, but the actual formula, I just, I don't find that it works on my oily skin. So I'm going to apply that on this side. Okay, going in with the foundation now. And out of interest sakes, I'm going to have another go at applying it with a brush. Not looking so bad with a brush over more of a hydrating primer, surprisingly. I honestly think that the coverage that you get out of one layer of this is perfect. In fact, it's peach perfect. See what I did there? Yeah. All right, so here is my skin unpowdered. So on this side, we've got the hydrating primer. I mean, the foundation looks beautifully smooth on this side. I'm not seeing any patchiness or any texture or anything. And then here is the side with the peach perfect primer. I just feel like there's a little bit of patchiness kind of here, um, perhaps a little bit of patchiness up here. Um, and I think it's, yeah, I think it's because that primer is so matte that it's kind of clinging on. Although at the same time, I didn't have that issue at all when applying it with the Beauty Blender. Okay, going in with the Peach Perfect powder now. And I'm actually just going to apply it with a brush today. See how that goes. And then on this side of my face, I am using the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder. Now, this is not by any means a bad powder, but 
it's really not designed for keeping the skin matte and I think that this is a good one to match with it to see how the foundation holds up on its own. All right, so here is my skin now. So this side with all of the Peach Perfect products, it feels quite matte, it feels quite velvety. And then this side paired with that L'Oreal Luminizing Primer and then also that Ambient Lighting um, Powder by Hourglass. This side still feels a little bit tacky. It doesn't feel like sticky, but you can definitely tell that it's not all the way matte, whereas this side feels extremely matte. So yep, yeah, I'm going to wear this all day again, guys, and then I'll be back tonight with my final thoughts. All right, so back with my final check-in and final thoughts on this foundation. This is what my skin is looking like at the minute. This has been on for 13 and a half hours now. Um, I mean... It's kind of hard to tell, but I feel like I'm decidedly oily on both sides sides. I do feel like this side is actually a lot more matte though. Um, I'll zoom the camera in so that you can see. So this is the side with all of the Too Faced uh, peach products. I mean, I'm shiny, but again, there's no separation. There's no cakiness. It still looks really nice. And then this here is the side with uh, the L'Oreal primer and that Hourglass powder. I mean, the side of my note, like there's a lot of oil on there. There's a lot of oil happening on my cheeks. But at the same time, the foundation still held up really, really well. Um, it, again, hasn't caked, hasn't separated, and isn't looking overly feral. So I think that is a pretty damn good result. I think that all three of these products are really fantastic. The primer definitely gives your skin an incredibly matte finish. Uh, the foundation definitely lasts really, really well. I wouldn't say necessarily that it controls oil as per the claims, but I would definitely say that it does hold up when you do produce oils. Like... I, it, it just hasn't separated or caked at all, which is phenomenal, especially after like nearly 14 hours of wear. And then finally, the Peach Perfect Powder. Absolutely freaking love this stuff. It's a gorgeous translucent powder. It works beautifully for touching up. Actually, let's have a little touch up right now because I am so oily. Um, it smells amazing. It doesn't get cakey. There is no flashback with any of these products. Like overall, I am extremely, extremely impressed. Um, I think that it's really good to note that you definitely don't need the primer and the powder to get the foundation to work. Definitely holds up on its own. But overall, I think this is a phenomenal, phenomenal collection. It definitely gets a huge thumbs up from me. Does it beat my holy grail, like my Estee Lauder Double Wear and my Smashbox Studio Skin? No, I don't think that it does. But I tell you what, it's pretty damn close. And it smells amazing. Ah, oh, also, that's another thing. If you hate scented products, you're going to hate it. I mean, there's nothing I can do about that. <laughs> if you were looking to only buy one of these products, I would get the foundation for sure. Second to that, the powder, and then probably the primer last. I just don't really think it's that necessary. If you've got any more questions about any of the products, please be sure to pop them in the comment section down below. And any other requests or questions that you might have about anything else, pop it all down there. I love you all so much. I hope you found today's review helpful, and I will catch you guys in my next one. Bye!